Hey there, Capricorn, and welcome to your reading for the week of October 31st. Uh, this week, if you're looking for more awesome readers, astrologers, things like that, definitely check out astrojar.com right here for all of that good stuff. But let's see what's going on for you this week. Let's see what comes up. Definitely, let's see. I'm not going to say anything just yet because I want to see what else comes up. All right. Definitely a financially focused week. That's what I was going to say anyway. Um, so definitely focused on finances, business, work, all of that stuff. And I feel like maybe some of you actually have a really good idea this week and you're kind of just like, you know, kind of taken off with it. You have the uh, seven of clubs coming up first. Uh, this is a card of feeling like you're trapped in a prison. Um, it's actually not a bad card. Uh, it's a card of like feeling like you're trapped in a relationship or feeling like you're trapped in a, a workplace or a business. And you're just like deciding that you're not maybe like a hundred percent happy doing what, whatever it is that you're doing. What I, you know, I know that's very general. It's going to, it is very general because it's going to be something different for all of you. But I feel like, um, you know, a lot of you are making that decision to leave something. And, and, and that's why I say this is a good card actually because even though it represents being trapped in prison, uh, it's because it's a card of action. It's a card of you making those decisions and being like, I'm out. I'm, I'm done with whatever, you know, whatever this is. So you're making a decision to move forward from something, uh, which is, you know, very positive. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds represents success on the horizon. So you know, new successes coming in for you, new money coming in for you. This is a great card for investments, uh, making investments, uh, especially if, you know, if you're retired uh, or something or you're not working, but you're investing. It's a great card for that. Uh, great card for business in general. And it's a great card if you're signing any types of business like contracts, like maybe you're buying a house or buying a car or something like that. If you're signing paperwork involving, you know, some sort of exchange, it's a really great card for that. It's also great if you are um, in sales, if you are in a sales type business, or if you are in some sort of negotiation type business as well. It's a great card for that kind of, though any, anything involving some sort of like back and forth energy, uh, it's a great card for that. And it could give you more money for that. Like I said, also great for entrepreneurial ideas as well. So if you have any ideas this week, any entrepreneurial ideas or anything like that, um, this is a great card for um, for those things. Next, you have the Nine of Diamonds, card of opportunities as well. So, you know, Capricorns are very business-like, and I think a lot of them, ha you have, uh, you know, business-like ideas and plans and things like that. I think this card does represent a lot of good opportunities coming for in for you, uh, coming up with a lot of good business ideas and things like that as well are, are um, definitely highlighted under this card. So I think a lot of you could be doing that. It's also a great card for spending money as well. Like a lot of you could be spending money to to try to make money even and things like that. So if you're doing anything involving marketing or anything like that, it's a great card. Uh, it's also a great card for making repairs to things as well. Um, you, you, this What this card represents is, again, spending money to either make money or to be financially responsible. And I always say, you know, with this card, it's like maybe your car is making a weird noise or something and it's like if you don't get it fixed now it could cost a lot more later so it's like better to spend the money now um, than it would be to wait so it's a card of that type of like uh, financial responsibility Next, you have the Two of Spades. So a lot of you, I think, are just leaving behind old ideas and things like that. This is a card of separation. It's a card of separating away from, again, ideas for the most part, or thoughts and things like that, or even just stuff, you know. A lot of you could just be leaving stuff behind and, and moving on to something new this week, uh, you know, that kind of leads you to something much better. Uh, so I like to see that for you as well. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. It's, I mean, really good money week for you, obviously, this week. This is a great card of business as well. Even a great card of traveling and moving. And it is the card of prosperity in the deck. So a lot of you could be, you know, reaching new levels of prosperity or at least having the ideas. Again, I think it's very much an idea week for a lot of you. So a lot of you could be just landing on the idea that makes you more money or, or coming up with the business or coming up with the job or whatever that kind of leads you to more, a more prosperous existence and things like that. So I think a lot of you are headed in that direction. I think it's a good thing. I like to see it. Like I said, it's also a card that is great for hard work. So any, if any of you are just doing hard work, it's a great card. And if any of you that are involved in like, 
you know, contracts or anything like that. This is a, a really good card as well. Again, kind of like that eight. And then finally, we have the two of clubs. This is a card of keeping yourself motivated. I always say it's a card of like talking to yourself and kind of getting yourself fired up and, and ready to go for things. So a lot of you could be um, doing that as well, kind of getting yourself all fired up and things to uh, to kind of like move forward in life. So I really like to see that for you as well. Definitely stay motivated uh, this week, but looks like a great week. Definitely financially focused. Uh, which I like, you know, I think it will be good for you. So uh, thank you and enjoy your week.